Hello my beautiful angels, it's Kat, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, I hope everyone is doing great. So as you can see from the title, I'm coming today with another weight loss related video and I'm super happy and excited because I haven't done one for such a long time, probably longer than I should, but today is the day and as you know, I started my YouTube channel to share with you my journey and my story and my struggles and I actually gave you a little backstory of the most important decision of my life, which was weight loss surgery. So for those who don't know, 26th of May 2019, I had a weight loss surgery and it changed my life. I've managed to lose over 100 pounds. If you are not familiar with my story, I will definitely try to link a few videos in the box description down below. So definitely go and check them out if you haven't yet. And I will kind of link a few of them, mainly the ones when I talk about why I decided to lose weight and what was my motivational drive, just to give you a little bit more of the insights of my story. So to give you a little bit more details, I started at the highest weight of 300 pounds and I am currently sitting at 175 pounds. Just saying that out loud is just mind blowing. Honestly, I never doubted myself, but at the same time, I never assumed that I'm going to be able to achieve anything like that. Obviously, my weight loss journey doesn't stop here. Definitely no, um, I'm still pushing forward and I am actually setting another goal and target for myself. And now I want to share in this video, I'm actually going to share with you what is my target, what is my goal and what we are doing here. So my goal is to be 130 pounds. I think that would be my ideal weight and I will just try to after that maintain it. But to achieve that, as you can see, do a little bit of math, I still need to lose 45 pounds. And I don't want to be too harsh on myself, but I set a challenge and I really wanted to aim to lose 45 pounds by the end of this year. Yes, I said it. I want to lose 45 pounds by the end of this year. So, buckle up guys, because it will be hell of a ride. Right, so I am super determined to share with you on a weekly basis my journey and share with you my weigh-ins every single week so we can track the progress together. I'm not sure how I feel about stepping onto the scale in front of the camera yet, for sure that will come, but not just yet, you will just have to take my word for it for now. Um, I am super excited and you know, if you are planning to start your weight loss journey on YouTube, definitely do. You just need to remember that weight loss journey, especially behind the lens of camera, is not the easiest thing to do. It can be very difficult at the time. You need to remember that we are exposing ourselves to a public eye and to people that technically don't know us. And a lot of people have a lot of opinions, especially when you do something that they don't necessarily agree with. But I have a very open mind and at the end of the day, I treat this platform as, as a support and, you know, somewhere where I can get the advice and help. And as I said, my open mind doesn't let any neg negative feedback to take over. I treat the negative feedbacks as a constructive feedback and I try to take and learn from them as much as I can. So please do give me any constructive feedback because definitely I will consider everything what you say. As long as obviously they're not nasty or offensive, I'm on board with everything. So as much as I am excited, I am slightly nervous though because I feel like time will be my the biggest enemy. Just because as I mentioned to you guys before, I am going back to my full-time job more and more each day and that takes most of my time during the week. But at the same time, I feel like starting this series will keep me accountable and just will keep me focused of keep going and every week give you guys this content and this update. So yeah, I, f I have a very positive vibes and at the same time, I do have a few more projects in progress, which takes a lot of time as well. Definitely will share with you everything once they're completed or once they finalized or once I know what I'm doing because half of them I just simply don't know what I'm doing. I am a very creative person and DIY is definitely something that I enjoy. <laughs> but sometimes obviously with DIYs you know how it goes. So yeah, I feel like I am super busy and I'm putting another challenge on top of this everything which is my weekly updates and weekly um, videos and at the same time in the middle of the week I'm planning to do some more videos for you like what I eat in a day and all of those stuff so definitely stay tuned but I feel and I think it will be a very exciting journey. 
Speaking of DIY, I can actually share with you my two projects which are actually related to this channel. So first of all, I am currently in progress of making my own recipe book and oh, I can't just explain how excited it is because I am absolutely obsessed in cooking, baking, looking for new alternatives, solutions, everything obviously clean and healthy. And yeah, obviously it is an amateur attempt, so don't expect miracles, but definitely if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, it will be in the link description down below. Go and check it out because my Instagram is not as much about weight loss, not as much about transformation and all of that, but it's about cooking and eating healthy. I love to share my dishes and my meals over there, so definitely go and check it out. Usually I add it to my stories, occasionally I would add actually on my Instagram account, but definitely stories sometimes if I'm in the progress of cooking, I like to snap a video or a picture and just post it um, for you guys to know what I'm doing. And definitely stay tuned for my recipe book because oh, it's going to be amazing. I will definitely share some of them on my Instagram, some of the recipes while it's gonna be completed, just so you guys can create your own delicious meals as well. My the biggest inspirations for this would be definitely Danny from Clean and Delicious and the domestic gig. Absolutely love those women. I think oh if someone loves food and is passionate about food, you can just feel it. You can feel their spirit when they talk about food and when they actually know what they're talking about because you can assume that something is healthy, but if you hear someone that actually know what they're talking about, you can feel it. You can feel it and you can trust those people. So I definitely take a massive inspiration from both of the ladies. So yeah. And another project that is actually related to this channel and I just can't wait to share with you once it's completed is my personal workout regime plan which I am created based on my previous experience with my personal training plan and at the same time people that I met in my life or people that I discover on the internet. There's so many inspirational people out there and if you don't know anyone personal definitely can find so many people on YouTube. Especially at the beginning of the lockdown in March when we are forced to do some home workouts I think that that was an amazing time for me to discover so many amazing people and one of them was Chloe Ting So again stay tuned for that guys So let's talk goals guys and I'm going to do a little math right now So my ideal weight would be 130 pounds which means that I still need to lose 45 pounds as I said, my goal is to do it by the end of this year, which means that we have approximately 116 days left, which gives us 17 weeks. That puts us in the position when technically I should be losing 2.6 pounds a week. Is it doable? Possibly, maybe. <laughs> Let's put it this way, guys. I really want to set a challenge and goal for myself to keep me accountable and I feel like every tiny little achievement gets me closer to my goal and this is what I wanted to tell you as my motivational speech. I don't consider myself as an expert but at the same time I don't believe in being too harsh on yourself. This is very emotional journey at the same time and as long as I don't go backwards every tiny little step forward gets me closer to my goal and you need to remember that. You need to be honest with yourself and appreciate every tiny little achievement that you complete. So let's talk about the food and exercise routine for this upcoming week. Well first of all one thing that you should know about me is that I don't really eat out. And this is probably what I'm creating my recipe book, but I do enjoy cooking and spending time and eating at home. When I eat out, it's not like I don't enjoy eating out, I really like the idea of it, I like socializing with people, so I really like to go out and more than for a meal, I do like some cup of coffee or like a little lunch or brunch, but for like a proper dinner, I do really enjoy doing it at home. So when I do go out, it's probably once or twice a month. So. Meal prep is what keeps me going, as you can assume by now, and I am actually preparing for my next meal prep, which is going to happen probably in the next two days because I'm going to run out of food in the next two days. So definitely I'll take you along with me and I'll show you everything that I make that day because usually I do meal prep once a week, sometimes twice a week, it depends what I make. 
and I do bake once a week sometimes once in two weeks which is very frustrating because the reason why I don't bake as often is because my husband doesn't eat it um, he doesn't like one of the healthier uh, cleaner alternatives he prefers to stick to his old butter croissant and some digestive biscuits and that's good for him that keeps him going obviously I can't eat stuff like that so as much as I love bake I can't really do it as often because I usually bake and then I portion it and I store that in my freezer and every night before I'm planning to eat something I just take it from the freezer leave it in the fridge for the next day so obviously I can't eat as much to run out in one week of whole let's say tray of my peanut butter oat bars or my lemon bars they're amazing though but definitely stay tuned for my baking day because if that will happen, I will try to record probably like three different recipes to show you and share with you. And yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So in terms of um, exercises and staying active, I definitely have to say that um, the three month lockdown made it so, so easy. And without exaggeration, I would just literally tell you that I would wake up every single day, go to the park for a run, then at the end of the day I would do workout at home and that's how my three months lockdown looked like. And that's why probably I lost 30 pounds during these three months. Obviously then reality kicked in, um, other project happened um, and then I had to go back to work, as I said, full time, more and more each day, which is very sad and depressing, but that's life, it's okay. Um, but then obviously my motivation, not as much my motivation, but the time and energy drops dramatically. And I'm not trying points like any excuse right here because it's not an excuse not to work out. But obviously seven days a week, two times a day is not realistic at that point. And let's just put it straight. So for this week, I am aiming to do three sessions of running in the park and four home workout sessions. So I definitely take you along with me just to show you how my routine looks like, what I do. So yeah, stay tuned because these videos are coming guys. New week, new goal, new challenge, new motivation, loads of positive energy and I think this is the perfect recipe for an amazing week. So consider to subscribe, like this video, comment, share, do whatever you want. You're the boss in here, not me. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in my next video when I'll share with you all my updates and my achievements and what I did, what I ate, how I stayed active. So stay tuned for that and for now stay beautiful, stay strong and stay safe. Bye guys! I'll be your